for the video tutorial, you are going to learn how to add the phone number using regex in Python. Uh, validating phone numbers with regex or regular expression can be tricky because phone number formats can vary widely. Uh, you can create a basic regex pattern to match common phone number formats. Here is an example of how to validate phone numbers using regex in Python. Uh, in this example, First import the array. Array is a regex or regular expression module. It is a built-in Python module that's used to, to validate any given patterns. So in this example, the is phone number valid function uh, takes a phone number as input parameter and checks if uh, the if it matches the regex pattern for basic phone number validation. So the regex pattern uh, is uh, this one. Uh, this is designed to match various common phone number formats, including those with country code, uh, area code, uh, and different separators such as dashes, dots, uh, and uh, white spaces, including parentheses. So here, uh, the pattern starts with a string, and this this one is uh, the an optional group for the country code, which uh, can be one up to three digits, one up to three digits, with an optional plus sign uh, in front of that uh, area code. So country code. Okay, so you may put uh, plus sign or you may leave it without plus sign. But the digit is one up to three. And this is also an optional because this uh, uh, question mark in regular expression is uh, option. You may use or not. And uh, you can uh, put uh, hyphen or dot to add a subparameter or you can uh, between country code and uh, area code. Then the next uh, group of uh, uh, an optional group for, for the area code, which enclosed by parentheses, parentheses. So, uh, and this square bracket uh, hyphen dot slash s uh, pattern is also an optional separator character. Uh, it may, you may use dash or dot or white space. This is a white space, okay? So you can use as a separator and followed by digit. So you can uh, use the number of digits after dash or a dot or a space uh, that uh, the phone number uh, has three digits. And this followed by either dash dot or white space. This is optional, so you may you may use dash dot or white space, or you may not uh, need to use this as a separator. And finally, you can put four digits at the end of the phone number formats, and at the end you can put uh, dollar uh, simple. This is end of the string because the string begins with this one, and the string ends with dollar symbol. So this is the pattern. So the given phone number should uh, match this uh, given pattern to uh, uh, check that or to validate the phone number is valid or not. Okay, now the next uh, one is use array match to check if the phone number matches the pattern. Uh, next, array match. to check if the phone number is, the phone number matches, matches the pattern. So if re dot match and you can pass the pattern and the phone number, if this condition true, if the phone number uh, matches to the given pattern, 
then it's going to return true, which, which means that the uh, con number is valid. Else, uh, it's going to return false because that phone number format is not valid. Okay, now I'm gonna check this function is working correctly or not by testing this function. And here I have listed out uh, different phone number formats and I'm gonna check uh, by calling the function and pass the phone number to the function to validate the phone number format. So for LB phone in the list of phone numbers, phone numbers, and I call is valid uh, by calling is valid phone number and pass that phone number to the function. And the function takes this phone number as input and it's going to it's gonna check uh, by matching the phone number with the pattern. If the phone number is matched to the pattern, the return true, which means that uh, phone number is uh, valid. Otherwise, it, 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 it's gonna return false. That is not valid phone number format according to the given pattern. But you can put different patterns to validate phone numbers because uh, there are a lot of uh, phone number for formats. Different country uses different phone number formats, so it is uh, depend on. But this is a basic phone number validation pattern, regex pattern. Okay, now I'm gonna print out to check that this phone number is valid and call is valid. Okay, it's gonna check. For example, the first phone number is not valid because it is not uh, satisfying the given uh, phone number format according to the given pattern. And the second is not valid, it is false because uh, there is uh, not country code or area code, only there are two uh, formats. The third one is valid because, uh, for example, the first uh, here, uh, there is one of the three digits, okay, uh, then followed by either dot or hyphen, that is an option, so uh, that satisfies, followed by three digits, uh, that's also uh, satisfying this, there are three digits, uh, there uh, an optional um, hyphen dot or a space, here, there is a space uh, dot and followed by three digits. Uh, but this is optional. But here, uh, no three digits, but this is optional. You can put three digits or not. Finally, there, there should be four digits numbers at the end. Uh, in this case, so this satisfies the given pattern that matches with the given pattern. So this that's why it returns uh, true. And this is not uh, true according to this because it's not satisfying that condition. And the last one is uh, satisfying the condition because uh, you can use either hyphen or uh, dot or a space even though. So this is uh, different, uh, similar with this one. So you can use different uh, patterns to match phone numbers uh, using regular expressions in Python, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video tutorial. But uh, uh, please note that this reg uh, regex pattern uh, is a basic example, and uh, you may not uh, cover all possible phone number formats, but you can uh, uh, you can be try to uh, uh, use and practice using different phone number formats. Uh, but this helps you to uh, understand the basic concepts of uh, regular expression to validate phone numbers. Thanks for that.